In this video, we'll be working through how to set up the manual application control functionality within the Pro 700 and IntelliV4 display. By setting up manual application control, this gives the operator the ability to set up and record rate and section status, as well as record as applied data within the Pro 700 and IntelliV4 display. An example of why you would use this is when a customer is wanting to record their fields as applied data but only has a ground drive air cut that does not have a monitor that accurately records the area or application history of that field. But we need to navigate our way back to the main menu, then into toolbox and into manual. Once we are in the manual control setup page, we can set up the control channel to suit our implement. For instance, if we were to use this on an air cart with multiple bins, we can set up to four manual control channels. Each control channel can be named so it is recognizable on the run screen, which will be shown later on in this video. Next, we need to define what our product form is. For this video, we will select bulk seed as our manual application product. This can be changed by pressing on the drop down box under product form and selecting bulk seed. The next option we have is the link to layout window. This is used if the sections for manual mapping align exactly with an existing implement control system that you are controlling with the Pro 700 or IntelliV4 display at the same time. Use the link to layout window to automatically populate the measurements based on values from that implement. If the sections for manual mapping do not align exactly with an existing implement control system that you are controlling with the Pro 700 or IntelliV4 display at the same time, leave the link to layout window set for no control and continue to the number of sections window. Next, we have the ability to select the number of sections that we would like to set up for the manual application control channel. For this video, we would like to set up two sections. The first section will set up as six meters, and the second section will set up as six meters as well. So an overall width of 12 meters for the implement. We then need to set up the section one and section two forward offset. You need to use the section forward offset windows to enter the distance from the vehicle's reference point to the point of application for each section. For a front wheel assist tractor, the vehicle's reference point is measured from the rear axle, and for an articulated tractor, the vehicle's reference point is measured from the front axle. If the point of application is forward of the vehicle's reference point, use a positive value. If the point of application is behind the vehicle's reference point, use a negative value. The last setup we need to confirm is the section right offset. This needs to be changed for both section 1 and section 2. This is used to accurately display on the field map where each section needs to be manually turned off and then back on again by the operator. To set up the section in its correct location, we must enter the distance from the tractor's center line to the left edge of each section. If the left edge of the section is to the left of the tractor's center line, use a negative value. If the left edge of the section is aligned with the tractor's center line, use a value of zero. And if the left edge of the section is set to the right of the tractor's center line, use a positive value. Now that all the manual application control has been correctly set up, we need to navigate our way to the layout page in Toolbox. In the layout page, we 
we need to assign the manual application user-defined window to a run screen. Once you have set up the manual application control user-defined window in a layout, you'll notice on the run screen that you can turn either the manual control on or off and virtually increase or decrease the rate. Now you have set up the manual application, you can accurately record your as applied data for an implement that is not directly connected to the Pro 700 or IntelliView 4 display.